Hello everybody, Iragon here with a tutorial after a long time um, that has been I believe like five months that I uploaded my last video and that's because um, I have no idea what to make the video of. Um, there are plenty of things I want to learn you but I just don't know where to start uh, so I hope that you guys will give me some um, some well tasks to do let's so to say. So if there's anything you want to know or you know what you want but you don't know how to do it then please put it in the comment section and I will definitely look at it and I just need ideas people I need ideas okay so at that aside um, this tutorial is about globals and if you don't know what globals are in a nutshell it is something that is accessible for everyone everywhere at any time so I've set up some situation here that, well, you might recognize. So you have this script, it's a very important script, it's got some uh, important uh, variables, and yay. So, and you, this one has information and you have an object that needs this information. So normally you would, for example, say, okay, we have this script and we want to have the important script from this on here. And let's show you, this is actually the important script. So it got some variables and it got two um, functions here that allow you to change this. Nothing uh, special, just an example. So a random script actually looks like this. So it has a reference to our important script so we can access it. And those booleans are just so that when you press the boolean or act activate it in the inspector it will actually do something with it which is um, well showing the information that is in this important script um, and that you and it will generate a random number put it in the float and if you press the third one it will actually also generate a random number but then put it as a string and it will say is a string now well how fancy um, so yeah so this works like following so if we go here and let me just make um, a second inspector because the this screen here is not really important at the moment so we're gonna lock this on this one and or put an object here so those two objects are here and if we would say get my info now then it would give us this one and then if we click here you will see it changes here and this one will change this and if we click this again it shows the new stuff so that is probably known to everybody i hope and if not congratulations you learned something else but if you have if this script would for example be used by many other scripts for example you have a for example this is i don't know like player health and you have a lot of different scripts that can actually change your health. Well, you don't want to drag this script into the inspector on all those scripts because that will take you time, unnecessary time, which is not good. So this is the point that globals come in handy. So um, this object here holds important information. Fine, so we will use this as our global object thing that will exist forever so I already made something for that it's called globals hey okay it's so it got this script again yeah so we still got this reference true 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 but if we open this one look here you actually see this public static globals instance oh but you know this is the same thing is it referring to itself well actually yes and no it is actually referring to this instance of the script so this script could be on a billion other objects but this one will uh, be the same for all the scripts so if I change this one in this instance of the script on this object and um, then it will also change for all the other um, copies of this script on other objects so th there can only be one of those only one of those and to make sure that there's only one of this um, because you why would you want more because this one is accessible to everybody anytime so why would you need copies so we're gonna 
first say don't destroy and load what this does is the object this is on will not be removed when you switch scene so this object will just be if you switch scene just be put um, into your new scene again with all the variables intact so the the values that you gave to for example um, variables and scripts on this object will just remain untouched they will not reset to their default um, and now to be sure that there's only one global object or one global script is going to say if, we, if we're going to check if this instance is null which is no value yet um, we will say that this instance is equals to this certain object um, so that when we have another copy of this one while this one is already set it will say um, oh well it is actually not null so this is skips and then it's going to say if the instance is not me well then I destroy myself so this will make sure there's only one script of globals in the in your whole game um, and it will keep all the references always so you don't have to do it again so now if we would drag this one on here and we would change our um, random script and we would remove this Oh, we get errors, great. To fix this, we're gonna say globals. Let me just put a space for that so you can see what is actually popping up. Globals, there we go. Dot instance. So we can actually now see this one while we have no reference to it. And yeah. And now if we say dot uh, important script, which is this one, and we say dot some important float there we go we actually accessed the variable of our important script without actually having a reference to anything here we just got this so we are also gonna do this for our important string there we go and set our new one is also gonna be just copy paste that global dot instance important script and then the function here so if we go to back to our game now and um, see does that work yep oh I'm still in game mode <laughs> play mode sorry um, and we press play this one has no reference at all and if we say get my inputs now oh wait a second yeah that was uh, <laughs> I put our um, global script on it in play mode so it actually got removed there let's see there we go play so yeah that's really important that if you ever make changes to your scene make sure your um, play mode is off because it will not save it which is really annoying sometimes so now we can just get info now there we go we got it awesome and if we say set of value now and it changes here and set of string it also works and we want to get this again there we go it works so you could put um, important stuff that you want to access in um, different scenes in your game for example um, or just in general um, for scripts that are that are only need to be one of for example um, if you have like a script that managing all the audio in your game um, you only need one audio manager so you would for example put that on here and then make um, in our global script you would make uh, that's my dog I hope it there we go it's gone um, you would make um, a variable for the audio manager script here and you would drag it on here and you would be able to access it through any script in your whole game it will be able to access it so that is actually the well that's why they are very handy those globals um, and I suggest you start using them as soon as you can because um, if you have like a really big game uh, you don't want to your inspector to be filled with references to other scripts because if one of those scripts for some reason got destroyed or anything like that you will get a bunch of errors and 
it makes your code so much cleaner if you use those globals um, because duplicating stuff that should be not be duplicated nobody likes that um, that is actually it for this uh, tutorial I hope you learned something um, press this like button if you're new to my channel subscribe for more information and if you have questions put them in the comment section and if you have suggestions or a request for certain kind of scripts put it in the comment section I will read them all and well maybe I can make you uh, a nice script or something um, take care